Hi all, welcome back. Today we are diving into something super useful for any JavaScript or React developer that is setting up Husky hooks in your project. If you want to improve your code quality and ensure your git commits are always clean, then here is a video for you. So what is Husky? Husky enhances your commits and automatically link your commit messages, code and run test upon committing or pushing. In order to do that, I already set up a React project with lint and test. Unit test has been configured. If you don't have any project, I can attach the link to the GitHub with this video in the description. The first step is to install Husky. For that, you can give the command npm install save dev husky. It will install the package husky. The next command is you have to initialize this husky. The init commands simplify setting up husky in a project and also it automatically creates some script for us. For example, if I am giving the command npx husky init, then it will create automatically create the pre-commit inside the husky folder and also it updates something in the package.json. So if you see here in the package.json, there is a new script has been added prepare, which is husky. So what the pre-commit hooks do? If you want to do any checks before committing, you can add the command here. So first I am going to add npm run lint. So before I am committing a message, it will check all the lints are passing or not. To test that, I am going to add those changes. Then I am going to commit the message. So git commit minus m testing the husky hook. So this is my commit message. You can see it is running the lint command. So all the lint is passing. So another thing like I'm going to make it failure. So in the SRC, I'm, I'm just removing this ESLint check and Git add. I'm going to commit the same message here. See, it will throw, er throw the error saying the rule can't verify because this is failing. This is very useful for detecting the issues earlier itself. I'm adding back this one. Yeah, that is a pre commit hook. The next thing we are trying to add is the pre push hook. For example, if you want to run the unit test cases before giving the push command. So if I'm adding pre push and here I'm adding npm run test, I'm saving it. And if I am trying to add The commit is success and this pre-push will trigger when we are trying to push the code. So git push origin You can see it is running the command test and it has been passed and it is success now. If it is failed, it doesn't push the code. Now we are going to set up the commit message hook. So in the commit message hook, we will check the commit message is proper or not. In order to do that, first you have to install a package called commit lint. So npm install commit lint CLA and commit lint config conventional needs to be installed here. Okay, the installation is successful. In the root of the project, you have to create another file called dot commit lint rc dot cjs. The similar like eslint rc. Once it has been created, you have to add module dot exports equal to then you have to extend that commit link config conventional. Then you have to create another file which is commit message and you have to add this npx no install commit lint edit one. Now I am going to give a commit message. So git commit minus m 
just giving testing. Then it will run two hooks. One is pre-commit hook and the other one is commit message hook. So the commit message hook is failing, saying whatever the input given is the testing and the subject may not be empty and the type may not be empty. So the type, I can give you another message. So if I am giving git commit minus m, so this is the type and I will put a colon here and then I will add the subject. So testing. This will also throw an error because whatever the type allowed is wrong, which I am given here. See, it will show type must be one of the following. So if it is a feature, feed, then you know the build, refactor, reward style. So for each commit message, you can you have to give any of these types. Otherwise, it will throw error. So you can give git commit minus m feed or you can give test checking the commit message. Now you can see it is success. Now I am trying to push the change. So when we try to push the change, it will run the pre-push command. You can see the test command from the pre-push is checked. So you can add multiple commands on the pre-push, pre-commit and the commit message.